We do have a, a rather awesome story that was sent in. Oh, yeah. I, I want to say it was yesterday. I, I read it this morning, and I Jody was like, one? wow, yeah, it's the Jody story. Yeah. I was like, this is too good not to share for yeah. a Thought Thursday. This comes from John, because he would like to remain anonymous. He's writing under a pseudonym. So kick back, everybody, and enjoy. I had been in an up-and-down relationship, I hope so, with the same girl for four years. If you've been going out with her for four years and you haven't had any ups and downs, you're doing it wrong. The intensity level in my life got turned up a few notches when my unit got put on alert for deployment to Iraq. I was going through a lot at the time, trying to prepare myself for the worst, so I decided to break up with her to lighten my mental load. Which is wise. Yes. She flipped out on me and insisted we stay together. So we did. Oh, God. Foolish mortal. While I was gone, she would send me letters and emails nearly daily. Mm. Care packages every two weeks. I hope there were some nudie pictures in there that you can share with us. I was so impressed I got the bright idea to lay a large down payment on an engagement ring and one of those fancy tropical island vacations. On a military salary, you better be saving up good. God damn. All right. I let all my guys pick their two-week leave dates before me. So I'd been in the country for eight months before I got to take Ooh, that's a long time. I was excited to get home, propose, get laid, and get drunk. I did get fucked, just not in the way I was expecting. Yeah. When I got home, I noticed she'd put on some weight. Ah. I figured she was stress eating, no biggie. You know, if they gain weight in the right places, it could be fun for a little while. Yeah. but you... a- Until the scales literally tip in the wrong direction. And, well, that's the first stage in pulling the pin on the fat grenade. <laughs> Oh, it gets better. Oh, here we go. There's a reason for that wait. Mm. You just wait. Slipped one by the (laughs) goat. I quickly made up for lost time, as good soldiers do. Deploying your troops behind enemy lines, so to speak. Jet lag started to kick in, and I wanted a nap. She had other things on her mind. Said she was going to go hang out with her girlfriends for a little while, and then would come back. Uh Said, okay. But I thought it was odd. I've been gone for eight months. Not even been home 12 hours yet, and she's leaving to go and hang out with her friends. Yeah, that is, uh, that is telling. Well, she's got a guy friend who really likes cream pies. Yes. Mm. The homemade cream pie. Homemade cream pie. Click that! It's disgusting. Bad memories, man. As as she's pulling out, no pun intended, of the driveway, I called in a favor to a friend who lives down the road. I gave him the description of her car and asked him to follow her, and he did. He calls me 15 minutes later to tell me she's making out with a guy at a house on the east end. Oh, shit. Thankfully, my friend would not give me the address (laughs) because he knew what I would do. You'd go down there and kill him! I was pissed off at him, but I'm glad he did what he did. Speaking, you know, this I, someone I, who uh, I would still put some scunning on that dude. I know you 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 would have flown off the handle if not for uh, for Darren. So we'll all be grateful to him for that. Mm. Five hundred and seventeen dudes still sucking air because there's a there's an asshole out there still sucking air. <laughs> Take the good with the bad. Yeah, yeah. She will now be referred to as my ex. Okay. I got blackout drunk that night. What fitting. Yeah, Uh, I've done that quite a few times. Next morning, my hangover was initiated by my cell phone ringing. Mm. It was one of those people that you don't hear from often, an acquaintance that only calls when he needed something. He called to congratulate me because I was going to be a father. Ah, here we go. I said, I've been in Iraq for the last eight fucking months. To this day, that was the most cold, dead silence I've ever encountered. (laughs) Yep. Okay. He tells me he ran into her at the store not too long ago, saw her looking at pregnancy tests. Mm. He said she told him that she had three positive tests already. She told him the baby was mine. Oh, God, here we go. I made it over a day without any more revelations about my ex because I got so drunk I lost my phone. When I finally found it, I had a lot of missed calls and voicemails from friends checking on me. Uh One of the voicemails was from my ex's friend. She had heard I was back home and wanted to see me. She told me that her and my ex were no longer friends. Here we go. The ex, fr- this is friend of me. The maneuver. friend of me, yeah. They, they can come in handy once in a while. Yeah, yeah. My ex's friend begins by telling me that she's sorry for not telling me about my ex being a... <laughs> okay. She yeah. says that my ex has been cheating on me for our whole relationship. She said she used to drive my ex around so she could bang a bunch of different dudes. Holy shit. Well, thanks for helping her out. Yeah, yeah. 
My leave ended, and I went back to Iraq in a pretty bad state of mind, but I finished my tour unscathed. Good. Shortly after getting home, I began having some urinary problems. Oh, somebody got yourself, uh, you know, gonorrhea or gonorrhea light? <laughs> that whore gave me the clap. Oh, no. Gonorrhea, no. <laughs> It fits. <laughs> yeah, and listen, uh, this is not a uh, a rare thing. No, no, it's not. I felt pretty damn dirty, he says, but Doc told me that I needed to be thankful that she didn't give me something that didn't wash off with a week's worth of antibiotics. So basically, you got your uh, you know a shot, some pills, and a harsh talking to from the doctor. <laughs> not that you would know about that or anything. <laughs> Short after getting home, shortly after getting home, I began having some urinary problems. I already read that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I was going down to the next one here. The icing on this shit storm was applied when I found out that all the money I had put down on the engagement ring and the vacation, Go. non-refundable. Non, or non-refundable. What are you talking about? That sucks. You must have been going through some sort all right, of hang chip on. joint. Now, listen, dude. I'm going to tell you this right Bad. now. The most valuable asset... A man has is wisdom and more often than not that wisdom is acquired at a very very steep price mm-hmm. and you just lost money you didn't pay in pain yeah so you kind of got lucky on this one yeah very much so i just go on the vacation by myself so, so you basically it. paid your tuition for red pill college yeah yeah Go on the vacation by yourself, you know, once the antibiotics have kicked your uh, kicked the clap out of you, make sure you bring a whole bunch of condoms and uh, enjoy the ladies on vacation. Or just, you know, go fishing and lay away, for, lay off that stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. He was probably young and dick thinking at this point in yes, time, so yeah, that, he probably would do the, the former. I, I did the same thing. So. <laughs> we all did. I was having a lot of problems dealing with coming home and all the other BS. Felt like I was about to fracture. I built a large fire, drank some beer, burnt all my ex's clothes, pictures, jewelry, and I asked God to help me rise above all of what I was going through, and he did. My ex got an abortion, then got addicted to pills, burnt every bridge she had, and was eventually forced to move out of town. What? Forced? Forced. Wow, okay. I'm guessing there's an interesting aspect of that story we're not getting here. All right, yeah. I moved on with life, hating her and wanting her dead. Once I came to the realization that Jody did me a favor, I lost a lot of that hate. She's marked for life, and she will do nothing but suffer wherever she goes. Thanks to the big guy upstairs for looking out for me and teaching me a valuable lesson. Thanks to my family who knew what was going on near the end, but did not tell me because they wanted me to keep my head in the game. And thanks to Pop and Blake, who are out here helping guys that are being put through this kind of BS. I wish I'd discovered you guys a long time ago. Cheers with a fine glass of fuck you are fighting right now! Yeah! Godspeed. All right. Bourbon. Love a good story. Especially stories with happy endings. All right. I have had to deal, like I myself was Dear John twice in the military. Um, I never cohabitated really with a woman so i don't have to worry about the uh the tumbleweed uh, treatment that's when <laughs> you come home from a mission or deployment and y- your house is cleaned out there's nothing left in the bank and you know she even takes the ice trays <laughs> <laughs> she even took the ice cube trays out yeah. of the freezer you know and, and usually the kids are like two or three states away and it's just a big fucking nut roll yeah it is I- i've seen that um Probably north of 150 times in 33 years. Too damn many times. Yeah, and uh, all of like all of the thousands of people I've interacted in the military over this uh, three plus decades. I believe two couples are still together. <laughs> From like <laughs> God, like, like I think he married his high wow. school, married his high school sweetheart, and they they've been together ever since. That's good, that's good. good on them. And the other one met her, you know, like a couple of years while he was in the service. And I don't remember the backstory on that one. That that is it. That yeah. is it. The usual story is like I divorced five times. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Come on. One and man. done. Or just don't yeah. even do it. In today's day and age, these girls are walking across the stage, you know, when they graduate high school with 
the thousand cocks stare on their face. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you want to talk about grooming. Yeah. Look at what other women are doing to younger women with OnlyFans and social media. Wow. Holy shit. Uh, you know what? I, di- I didn't even think of that. You are absolutely correct. Yeah. And they're doing the same thing to young men. They're basically trying to groom young men for failure. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.